Hey YouTube, what's going on? In this live photo editing session, we're going to be editing this photo today. This is a little scene I walk past almost every single day. And I always notice the red fire hydrant at the end, almost perfectly positioned down this little alleyway. Um, I always thought it could be quite a cool shot, but the environment that it's in isn't particularly pleasing. And I'd always look at the, uh, the background and just think, I hate it, uh, so I'm not gonna do it. But one day I was like, you know what? Let's just go get the camera, give it a go and see what happens. So I took a bunch of photos down there, this is the one that I've picked that I'm going to edit today. As you know, I normally go in with a plan. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm not particularly keen on the environment in the background, that chain link fence, the, the railings from the ramps at the back of the buildings. I just don't like any of it. So the plan that I think I'm going to go with, with this, hopefully we'll see how it goes, is a kind of selective color thing. I, I really like the red fire hydrant. I think that should be our focal point of it. I'm thinking about desaturating the background. Looking at this, I, at the moment, I'm not sure if the greens of the bushes on either side are going to help or if we should just get rid of them completely. Um, so let's jump right into the edit and, and see, see what happens. So I'm gonna start as I always do. Um, first edit I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration and enable lens correction, just so that's out of the way and done. And then the first thing that I'm going to do on this particular one is I'm going to crop it just to to get my focus right so that I'm not over editing areas that, that don't, don't matter. Um, so let's sort that out first. So what I'm thinking here, first of all, is that there's too much foreground. I quite like the depth of field I've got going on with the leaves leading up to it, but I think there's just too much of it. And with the fire hydrant centered perfectly like that, I'm just not a fan of it. So I'm gonna crop out some of that foreground and I'm gonna want that onto a custom aspect ratio. And I think I'm gonna bring it up to probably, I wanna keep the fire hydrant um, horizontally centered, but vertically, maybe putting that line of the fire hydrant on the lower third is what I'm after. It, the image needs rotated. Um, I can see this, the, the ground line here is not particularly straight. So let's just fix that real quick. Straighten that up a little bit. See what that does. And that pushes the fire hydrant a little bit too far left. So I'm just gonna bring that in a bit. It's not looking too bad. I think. I'm okay with that. Let's look. It's not too bad. There's there's two things that are probably going to bother me further down the line. So let's just deal with that right now. Um, this window being cropped off halfway at the top. I think I'm going to pull it down so that we don't see that, and we have a full window of the one below it. And I don't know if you can see this bush here. There's kind of an arc up before an arc down, and that just clipping off just on the edge there is bugging me a little bit. So I'm just, I don't know that was rotating. I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit just so that we have the going straight down. That's obviously changed the position of the hydrate, hydrant, sorry. So let's just bring that in a little further. That's horizontally probably about, about right. Do I need to, somewhere about there, putting that line back on on the lower third. I think that's good. So I think I'm pretty happy with that um, as a focus for the image. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to doing some desaturation, I think, of the colors in this image that I'm not interested in. Let's jump to the color mixer here. Now the red, 
let's leave that um, alone for the moment. I think what I want to get rid of is probably the yellows. Let's pull that down. Which is looking better already. Let's use this. Uh, let's just figure out what these colors are. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to pull them all the way out. Let's pull a little bit back. You know what? This this green is going to be distracting. So let's take the greens out. We'll just go with the reds. Probably, I think. You know what might be quite nice actually if these leaves in the front can help accent that red a little bit but they're currently a little bit the wrong color so let's just shift them to the red a little bit just by adjusting the hue of that what did we get rid of there that orange i think we're probably going to want to bring some of that back what we are hue minus seven saturation luminance about the same yeah If we pull it way into the red and just saturate it a little bit. I think that's not too bad. That for me, maybe down a little bit. I think that helps tie the two colors together. Let's just tweak the fire hydrant because um, it's gone a little bit purple. Pull it a little bit more into the red. Saturate it a little bit more. Maybe bring the luminance up a little bit, just so it pops out at you a little bit more. I mean, that's not too bad already. So let's work on some of the the lighting real quick. Um, so I think the exposure's fine down here. The exposure's a bit overblown at the top. Um, I think we'll end up using a um, a gradient mask to to pull that top down because we don't want to change it overall. But let's just balance everything else correctly. I think the overall exposure's right. Maybe a little bit of contrast just to to separate the darks and the lights a bit. Pull the highlights down. Let's see what that does. I think that pulling those highlights down helps massively. On the top, if I really bring it back, that's a huge help. So I think I'll go with that somewhere around about there's probably fine. And if we pull the shadows up, just to make sure there's no pure dark areas in there a little bit, maybe pull the whites up just to see if that, yeah, not too much. Let's pull the blacks down just to help boost that contrast just a little bit. So that's not looking too bad. Let's get that mask on just to pull down that exposure. I'm going to pull this down from the top, probably all the way down. Let's try it down to the fire extinguisher and see what happens. Let's cycle that mask off and I'm just going to use this to pull the exposure down up top. Just a little bit. Something like that. Quite happy with that. Yeah. Let's just bring it up a bit, maybe. See the way it's affected over the railings? I wonder if I pull it up. Yeah. It's much better. All right. That's. Uh, too bad already. I want uh, just having a thought here. I think it maybe it might be quite nice if we can leave the green in the railings in the background. That might just be a bit contrasty to the to the red hydrant and the leaves at the front here. So let's see. Let's bring that color. Let's, let's try that. Let's bring that color back. Um, so we've got the 
the colors. What was that? Greens, not much of that's gone. It's probably this blue looking at it. It is. Let's bring that blue all the way back. Obviously that's brought it back in the building, so we're going to have to paint that out. But first, let's just tweak around the hue of that, see if this is actually gonna be worth our time doing. See if I bring it into the greens a little bit. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice contrast between the two. Bearing in mind, we're going to get rid of the color up here in a minute. Let's just pull the saturation down just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's quite a nice color contrast there. You can see there's quite a bit of green going on in various different other areas. So let's tackle that right now. Um, let's use the paintbrush mask. Uh, let's create a new one. And just so you can see what I'm doing here, let's make this brush bigger. Is I'm just going to paint the mask over this, but if we get rid of that, what we're the only thing I'm going to use this for is to pull the saturation down. I'll just carry on painting with my huge brush. All up here. So just looking at this, if I wanted to let's zoom in on this railing. If I wanted to use this for here, I would need to paint out all these individual squares, which is sounding like a lot of work. Um, what I could do is just paint over the whole thing and then subtract from the mask because it's no straight line, so that's probably a lot easier. Um, so let's do that, we'll make a nice big mask. I'm just gonna paint over the whole thing. Completely desaturate it, which will make sure all of the windows and the walls on the inside are desaturated. As you can see, that railing's getting desaturated as well. I'm going to bring that back, which I think will be much quicker doing it the other way. You see the blues in the building here and on this sign right here. That's what we want to get rid of. See a bit red on the on the bushes at the foreground here. Come through too. Let's just make sure we get it all. about it. A little bit there. A little bit of red here. Look. Look at that. Definitely got all. Yeah. I think we got it. A little, a little bit of red here. Look. Let's have a look further down the image and just make sure we get everything. Smaller brush and get rid of these these little red bits. Awesome. And again, I think I left a little bit of blue in there. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, so if I show you the mask for this right now, uh, there it is. So I've painted that all around there. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this railing and I'm going to use the arrays. And I'm just going to start erasing these and I'm going to bring it back. This is going to be long, so I won't make you sit and watch through all of this. Um, I'm going to speed this up quite a lot, but you get the idea. Let's turn that mask off. So you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to do this real quick and when I say real quick I mean probably quite slowly and be right back.
It was a bit tedious, but took maybe 10 minutes. Not too bad at all. Um, I was a bit worried about how I was going to get on between all the, the bits on the bush, but luckily, uh, because it desaturated that and it was actually a different color, uh, when I just went straight over it, it didn't come back. Um, there's a few areas I'd probably tweak at the end, where a little bit where I've gone a little bit over into the building. I do need to use it to bring down these colors here. So let's just paint that out really quick. Just around the edge there. Up that pole. Boom. Not too bad. You know what, this, this leaf here is really bugging me. I keep seeing it out the corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna desaturate that as well. I don't know why it just keeps standing out at me, uh, which isn't a good sign. If it's standing out at me, it's gonna stand out at other people and draw their attention away from the area I want them to focus on, which is the fire hydrant. So let's just desaturate that. And overall, I don't know about you, but I think that's looking quite good. I think that's made for quite a nice image. Um, just mess around with the point curve a little bit. I'm just going to pull the highlights down and the shadows up ever such a small amount. Let's just give it the traditional S curve. I just want to see what this does. I don't know. I'm just playing around at the moment. See if this actually works. Let's turn it off and on and see. I definitely much prefer that. That's had a huge impact on that, I think. So I might want to just, I might tweak the color of these leaves again, just a tiny little bit. Uh, maybe just the hue. Let's use this selection. I just want to bring it a bit more into the red, a tiny bit like that. I think this has probably gone a bit too dark red. Hmm, that didn't that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's pull the saturation off of it maybe. And the luminance. Oh. It's the thing we use in a tablet. Sometimes Lightroom gets, uh, he doesn't realize you've let go of the control. Yeah, I think something like that. I think overall, I'm pretty happy with that image. I don't know what you think. Um, but yeah. The greens, maybe let's just give the greens a little bit of a tweak. They are a little dark at the moment. Let's brighten them up just a little bit. See, again, Lightroom doesn't realize that I've actually let go of the control. So I'm going to undo that. And redo it, lighten it up. Pull the saturation down. Maybe, do you think the color's right? Yeah, I think the color's good. And that's it. I'm really happy with how that image has come out. I hope you like it too. If you would have done anything different, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions on anything that I did here, I'm always happy to answer any questions or open up discussions on how you guys would have done something different. I love hearing the different creative ways that people would have gone with things. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.